48 captive portal in 3 minutes. Here's how. To get more easy setup tips for your 48 firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. So you have outsource employees connected to one of your interfaces and you wish to restrict the access to the network. What do you do? You use Captive Portal. How? Here's how. The first thing to do is to create a new user group, a user group that is dedicated to those outsource employees. So let's create one, let's use the guest as our user group, and let's use email as a method to deliver the password for that captive portal. The expiration of the account is four hours, but you can change it. That's the first step. The second thing to do is to create an administrator that is responsible only for the provisioning of the guest accounts. So let's use uh, my name, let's use a password. And let's restrict that I mean for guest accounts for the outsource employees. Now, the third thing to do is to head over to that interfaces that our employees will connect through. And let's move over to the security mode. Let's choose, usually it is none. Now, we will use captive portal. We will restrict it to that outsource employee group. And we finish the third step. Let's create a policy that will allow outsource employees to get into the network and outsource EMP. The incoming interface is the interface of the outsource employees. The outgoing is our when. Source will be all and will be outsource employee user group. Destination is all, service is all. All right, now let's log out and let's get into the new admin page that will allow us to create password for those employees. Now let's use my email and 48 will generate a password that we can print it out or send it via email. Now, if we log out again and enter with our user, our super admin credentials, we will see that in our user group, we already have one member, which is the member that we have sent the password to that email. 